Hey my cupcakes, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the Lorac Pro Palettes. One is the real, one is the fake. The fake one is mine and the real one is my friend Jasmine's, which I've had at my house for more than 3 or 4 months now and I've been meaning to film this video for you guys but I haven't gotten around to doing it. So today I filmed it for you guys and if you guys are wanting to know how to tell which is the real, which is the fake, go ahead and keep on watching the video. My friend Jasmine got her Lorac Pro palette from Sephora and I'm not too sure the retail cost of it but I'm pretty sure it's like about $50. I got mine from the Cute app which sells an in quotes name brand makeup but it's actually fakes. So what I wanted to do was do a comparison video for you guys to kind of tell which is the real, which is the fake, what's to look out for when you are purchasing these online. Because I do notice that there is some people on Instagram saying that they're selling the real Lorac Pro palette or other name brand palettes and naked palette, everything like that. So I don't have any other fake palettes, but I do have the Lorac one, which is a fake, and I bought my friend Jasmine's one. And I have my notes here in my planner that I wrote a while ago. And I actually created this look today. I 86 the lashes today just because we're focusing on eyeshadow anyway. I wanted you guys to look at the eyeshadows to see if you could tell which is the real and which is the fake. So the right side is the real Lorac Pro palette and the left side is the fake. Um, they look somewhat identical in the looks. I use the same exact shades in the same areas of my eyes. But the color payoff and the pigmentation is a little bit different. In the video, on my right hand side, I'm always going to be holding the real one. On the left side, on my left hand, I'll be holding the fake one. I'll have it like this so you guys can kind of see it. So they look pretty much identical, but obviously in the ring light, in the lighting, you can tell there's a different shade of black. And actually, if you do touch it, the texture of the packaging is a little different. The texture of the real one is really soft. And the fake one is just like a regular cardboard. They're both cardboard, but like a, a cheap type of feel. And if you guys look on this side, it's kind of hard to see, but... Sorry, now this is the real and this is the fake. But if you look at the pro, the word pro... The, this part in the pro and the fake is a lot smaller in print because it cuts off before the edge of the packaging and the real one actually goes further into the end of the packaging right there. Um, that's something to look at. And in the back, they actually almost got it pretty much identical. This is my right hand. So the real one is going to be on the top. Um, you can see the barcode actually is printed a lot lower in the real one and the barcode in the fake one is a lot higher and it's crooked. The real one is more aligned and the fake one is just more up. And I can't zoom you guys in too close but right here in the real one there's a letter uh, number that's printed on. The fake one does not have that. The address of the in the back of the real one is actually imprinted. You can feel the indentation in the packaging. And the real one is just smooth. Just smooth, like it's been stamped on. This one is like it's imprinted. So since the top is the real, look at the color sable, which is this guy right here. And this is the fake palette, you guys, where my ring finger is. This is sable too. So you can see that sable is more like a reddish brown in the real one. And sable in the fake one is like a light cool tone brown especially espresso which is right here in the real one espresso in the fake one is more like a taupey purple also the gold is a little bit different this one is more like a yellowy and this one is more like an orangey gold right here so this is just a comparison of the shades from the real which is this one and the fake at the bottom since you guys are zoomed in now, you guys can kind of see that it looks pretty much the same on my eyes except for the outer corner of the real one is a lot deeper because I did smoke it out with the shade Espresso, which is this one. And then this side is on this eye and it's not really smoky at all. Another thing to look at is the pan. In the fake, they're a lot deeper and the lettering and spelling is off 
and the fake one. So white, they're missing the E. And yeah. So that's how that looks like. The fake one did come with the eyeshadow primer and this is the packaging that the fake one came in. Obviously the fake one is cheaply packaged. This is not probably how you got the real one. I'm not too sure because my friend had hers for a while. I don't know the packaging that it came in. But this is how the fake one looked like when it came in. Um, I do like the eyeshadow primer that it came with. I'm pretty sure this is the fake too. But it actually is tacky enough and makes your eyeshadow stay longer than the other ones I've tried in the past. And in the fake, which is this one right here, I'm not going to swatch it just because um, I didn't put, I didn't prime my arms or anything, but it's pretty powdery, you can see that. It's powdery, it looks kind of silky on camera, but it's powdery like this, you can't even tell that I swatched anything in Sable. So those are just the things that I came across of in the fake and the real Laroc Pro Palette. I just say be careful of what you buy online just because you can't actually touch it. If you guys are wanting to get like a name brand palette, just go to Sephora or Ulta and buy the real one. Because this was a lot cheaper than the, the real one. But the color and the payoff is a lot better than the real one obviously because it's the real. Um... But I guess for like having a palette like this, it's like nothing's wrong with it. It's just it's not the real one and some of the pigmentation isn't that great. But keep in mind, you get what you pay for and this is the fake. So it's not going to be all that great. So I hope you guys like this video and if it did help you guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Click on the subscribe button so you guys are notified of future videos from me. I'm going to try and get to the wing of like filming for you guys a lot more. I know I'm going to film a haul, but I'm just waiting for things to come in because I ordered a lot of stuff online. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions of what other videos to see from me, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Or if you have any questions about the Relora Pro palettes that I showed in this video, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on my other social medias. It's always linked in the down bar. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!